Back in the mid 80s, I used to come to Heritage USA and enjoy the facilities and the ministry and the singing and everything that was going on and meeting total strangers and leaving the first encounter with them feeling like you've known them all your life. For many, many years, 20 years, uh, I never came here. And then an event took place here uh, down the street that brought me here three and a half years ago. And during that time, the Holy Spirit kept leading me down here to the upper room. And nothing special, just maybe an encounter with the Lord and the Holy Spirit, never thinking about purchasing the building. Uh, at the time, the building was boarded up. Um, it was in disrepair, falling apart, weeds everywhere. The undergrowth of the woods was terrible. And there was for sale signs, several, all over the property. And then in November of 2010, I came down here again, was getting ready to turn in across the street into the parking lot. And I saw a brand new for sale sign that I'd never seen before. And instead of turning into that parking lot, I pulled into the upper room parking lot and began to weep and uh, get very emotional. And the Holy Spirit began to reveal things about the upper room that I never knew about, never thought about, never prayed about. And uh, two days later, I had written out a handwritten proposal on a piece of old paper, scratched out lines, misspelled words, never knowing what price the place was for sale for, but wrote a price and went and met the people who owned the property and presented them with my proposal. And um, they read it, joked about it, um, said, can you do every single thing in this proposal you say you can do? I said, yes, I, I, I can do it. They said, well, we'll think about it. We'll get back to you. I thought that was a very nice put off. So leaving that meeting, not thinking, but had a release from the Holy Spirit, I really felt I had done what the Holy Spirit had directed me to do. The next morning, they called and said, we want to do it. So that was the 17th of November of 2010 and we began to put the word out. And volunteers came out of the woodwork, so to speak. And December 1st, 2010, we rededicated this building. I'm just known as the gardener here. I like to plant flowers and just walk around and do whatever needs to be done. But this is God's place. This is where the Lord is promoted. It's not affiliated with any particular ministry or denomination or church or an individual. It belongs to all of us. All of us that come here that love the Lord, that are seeking His guidance, that need help, that need a miracle in their life. It, it belongs to all of us because when we leave, we leave a piece of our spirit here. But we also take a piece of the Lord's spirit with us. Why I came here, I don't know. Why are you where you are? See, the Lord needs us to be His hands and feet. His Spirit draws us, but He needs people just like you, people just like me, to be His hands and feet and keep talking about His love, that He loves His people. Thank you.